Can someone monitor the who should speak? Yeah, yeah, I'll do. We are doing it. We are doing it. Okay, okay, we are building an we are building an institution here. <laughs> One or two comments. Uh, first of all, uh, deficit in politics, deficit in uh, citizenship, and deficit in bureaucracy. So these three together have messed up things. Uh, I'd like to know from you whether you think <coughs> the present framework, the rigid framework of uh, uh, this bureaucracy, can they bring about a change? Can they really handle this matter? In fact, British who brought the democracy, I mean, uh, bureaucracy here, they have themselves changed their bureaucracy altogether. But we haven't changed. And market forces are incapable of looking after the needs of the poor. And uh, you see, health care and also education, government has to play a big role. Thank you. It's no, no, it's a comment I have taken. In the institution building process, I think that we have built a very strong institution in our election, electoral process. And this election process has been built by consensus and over a period of time. And suddenly, we will be saying, you know, the session has built a it, strong effort. One individual makes a difference. But it is it's a strong institution. How come when we can build a strong institutional process on election, we can't build a strong parliament? And how come the people who are elected to the parliament, the moment they are elected, find parallel means of representation, but not representation through the parliament? Don't you see a contradiction? Uh, I, I, uh, let me go to this. Uh, I, mean, I, I would like to say just that I entirely agree that uh, there is a stubbornness about the bureaucracy and uh, that will have to be changed. Uh, uh, and it's a huge challenge. It's, it's, I agree entirely with you on this. I would use the word cassette. Cassette, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I entirely agree with you on this, uh, and I'm grappling with it every day in my life in the last one and a half years. Uh, the, then uh, the other thing is that I also say that it's not that market is incapable, it's not market's business to take care of the poor. It, why are we asking the market? It's for the state to take care of the poor and to regulate the market in a manner that it doesn't make... Uh, unfettered I mean, uh, uh, profits. So uh, let us not think markets are for the poor at all. They are not meant to be for the poor. But in the 90s there was a complete shift. Yeah, they, they, they generate employment, they generate mobility, they generate wealth and it will have a spin-off on the poor but they are not doing it because they want to do poverty alleviation. So I thought, let us be clear, it is for the state to take care of the poor and not the markets. Uh, but then I'm not anti-market. Unless the market is there, it cannot be an unfettered market. It has to be a regulated market. And coming to the question of, uh, uh, I, I think what you said is correct. We have a huge, nowhere in the country, in the world, they have managed the kind of an electoral system that our country has. But then, um, because it runs a well-oiled electoral machine, it does not mean that it, it should result in a well-oiled parliamentary system. Because for that you must have a well-oiled party system, a well-oiled constituency building programs. A member, no member even now will know whether she will be given a party ticket at the time of elections. It's like a lottery ticket. Nobody knows. So what kind of a party system do we have? What kind of democracy is it when the leaders do not even know that they are going to be leading? So there is a problem on the party end, I would say, and non-institutional elements in the manner in which the party is run, all parties. And also in a way, to give you an example of why is Chiranjeevi, this Praja Rajyam, a success? I mean, let me tell you. Because there is no process of recruitment of people in the existing party system. There is no institutional procedure where you recruit, you, 
where there is a mobility, where people come from Kader to the next level, to the next level, where they can have experts at district on many issues, uh, experts on sta at the state level, experts at national level, all playing equally important role, as important as your representatives. Nothing of that sort is happening. So there are so many who want to be actually doing good things in politics, playing a role in politics, but they don't know how to enter. So when there is a new party, there are those who aspire to enter into politics think, let's at least try here. And that is why you have these kinds of anomalies. So we will have to, uh, in fact, I think the best answer is that all like-minded persons must flood existing political parties, join it and transform it. <laughs> Not one person joining the Congress, an announcement of 10,000 announcing that we will join the Congress party. We don't want to become MLAs, MPs, nothing. We want to build the party. I, or not just Congress, any party. <laughs> choose, you choose your politics. But there has to be a movement to do institutionalization of political parties also. Yeah. I have a uh, question and a comment. Um, first of all, thank you very much for the uh, thought-provoking talk. Um, my question is, you said there is a deficit of citizenship. Um, I can understand why people don't want to go to polling booths to vote. They are they're cynical because they don't see a suitable candidate to vote. My question is basically to the audience here, would you go to the polling station, would you go to the polling booth and vote if the ballot paper had, besides the list of the candidates that, that, they, that, that are contesting, if there is an option to invalidate your vote and also if there is an option to say that I do not like any of these candidates, would, would, would you go to the polling station? That's one question to uh, rather everyone here. Yes. And then... Everyone has already discussed. A negative. Vote to vote. Not What would you say is the option? But all political parties, none of them want to vote. Invalidate. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. On the, it is available. It yeah. is available. Why do we have educational qualifications for politicians? Or none of the above, whatever. Yeah. Well, one after the other. One after the other. Okay. The, 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 basic. Listen, you, you, you address the speaker. I because you answer the audience, there are too many. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, right, I would like to know this through the, um, uh, through the speaker. Right, then my another um, uh, comment was basically, we are talking here about uh, institution building. Um, and strengthening the democracy. Um, Shanta, you, you did say that you are going to concentrate on um, legislature and um, uh, executive, but not judiciary. I think um, judiciary need to be talked about and debated because um, legislature and executive have always been uh, open for criticism. People always um, talk about them, criticize them, media does criticize and and the judiciary is sort of untouched area um, I, I probably this is a, a an idea or a suggestion to Manthan that next time please uh, plan a debate on discussing about legislature um, sorry the judiciary uh, because I find ju the judges many times they uh, um, it's 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 a very sad to say that, but they are uh, sort of they act as super citizens, which I find utterly unacceptable. I think judiciary needs to be debated. Thank you. I think I'll take some three four at a time and then. Excellent, Bob. Thanks. Very excellent talk you gave. The things are excellent when we speak. But when you look at reality, the things are different. When you asked about how many people we go for a voting, 
I share my experience. First time when my name was there in the voter list, I went there. I waited about two and a half hours in the queue and the queue was not moving. And who will wait for more than that, thinking that a person was to return. Now, the next problem, after I shifted my residence, the photo identity was taken, form was filled, out of seven members in my family, only two names appear in the voter list, balance of five doesn't appear. Reminded once, reminded second time, reminded to election commissioner, none of the people are concerned about your communication. So exactly the problem with these people, question is if somebody want to take, let me tell you another example. I gave my name because the graduate constancy list again, the list every time. They don't go with the voters list which is prepared, where they have to have a graduate in that list. Even the list name which has been forwarded along with the candidate <coughs> did not find the name in the list. So that is the practical problem which we have. Rather, second thing which I am coming to you are uh, on the medical and health area and education area plus municipal area. Unless and until in this country a accountability has been fixed and which has been examined. You spoke about certain audit, social audit and even the government panchayat audit or any such thing. Now tell me, all the people sitting here must be watching that certain water line pipes must be lying, either drainage line or water line, for months together blocking the road. Who is answerable to that? The manholes which are open, maybe the, even the newspaper publishing it, who is listening to that? Who is reading to that? The area which has been communicated, nothing has been done. The roads, of course they can say because of the rain, the water, the roads are spoiled. But apart from that, the roads which are dug, the things are not repaired. After all, all the people are here. Who is concerned? And if somebody is concerned, who listens to that? Unless and until a penalty clause is being brought in the legislation, if this has been done, a penalty can be levied and that too on the government and let the government again go to the concerned person who is there because a person cannot go unless and until that type of thing comes and unless and until you fix up more particularly accountability and who is accountable. Whether it is a prime minister, whether it is a president or whether it is a minister or any government, the accountability has to be fixed and then only you can think of development, otherwise no. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I thought I'll take three, four together. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll finish it in a minute. Simple question is, I would like to know, we are a largest democracy, we talk so many things and we say we are very, very powerful and media is very powerful and all. But I feel, and I also ask you, why we are the weakest democracy in the world? We are the weakest. Why not we are the powerful democracy like US or a European country? We are the most weakest democracy I have ever seen. Uh, my question will be actually linked up with both, uh, both our friends here who have asked you questions. Uh, one friend had mentioned about uh, the judiciary that you have not spoken anything about them and, uh, and, uh, uh, and therefore what is their status. The other day we had Justice Raghuram here and he too spoke at a Mantan meeting and uh, Justice Raghuram was quite clear, quite emphatic that the reason for judicial activism and that the whole society seems to be depending only on the judiciary. If, if you want anything against the legislature, run to the judiciary. If you want a check on the executive, run to the judiciary. Why is the whole world running to the judiciary? He feels the judiciary is getting overburdened. And, and, uh, and we all thought he, what he said made a lot of sense. He also went on to say that 
largely this is happening because the executive is relinquishing its duties. It is not doing what it is supposed to be doing. It is not performing its duties, number one. It is not advising the, uh, the, uh, the uh, elected representatives correctly and then messing up everything and then ending up coming to it. Apart from them uh, destroying all possible institutions, they are also not at all accountable. Accountable was what he was asking about. The executive seems to be running amok without any accountability at all. Shanta, would you agree with this? We are worried about uh, about uh, uh, the institutions getting destroyed on a daily basis, as well as the non-accountability of the executive. Would you agree on these things? I think I'll. I, I just. Uh, <laughs> it's nice to pass judgment, sir. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, I am also convinced about the issue of negative vote that you have talked about. But that does not mean that one must not participate in an electoral process till this happens. And, uh, I, 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 this is one solution to it, but then you don't. Uh, Abandon your uh, citizen, the core citizen uh, participation uh, because of this. And if there are difficulties, as you say, in getting your name, imagine how much more difficult it must have been for the poor to get their identity cards and to get their chance to vote. And they still vote. That is what I'm trying to say. It's not easy. I think it's compounded. The difficulties is compounded by some thousand times for them. I was in Tripura last year, I mean uh, last week. For years they were fighting for their name and they were given up. Generations for their name to be on the voters list. 7,406 of them are fighting for their names to be on the voters list. But here we've decided to give up, but the poor don't give up. I think that is very important uh, uh, and we, we need to I don't agree with uh, the thing that ours is the weakest democracy. I, I think ours is a, I mean, it's an evolving de democracy. Uh, you, you, one can't make such value statements. We are evolving. We are on a learning curve, as I said. Like, that is why I put the thing of classical music you know, as an uh, analogy. We are constantly on a learning curve. And it is a very resilient democracy. And I think... It's not correct to say unless we, uh, I mean, it won't be a part of this lecture, but sometimes I would like to know why you think it's the weakest democracy. I mean, I think it is on many respects we surpass even the most developed countries in their democratic traditions and practices. Uh, so, I, but I can qualify why I think that uh, we, we surpass the most developed countries in democratic traditions and practices. That is one thing. Judiciary, I did not speak because I had only one hour to talk today, so I thought if I did judiciary, then I won't be able to do on my legislature and executive. But I agree with you about uh, the issue of uh, executive. You know, when you talk about accountability, at least it's the elected representatives once in five years are humbled. They go like this to the voter and say, please vote me. No functionary in the execution will ever do this. Actually, they are public servants. They have to do this every day in their lives. They don't do it even for one second. And at least our MLAs and MPs do once in five years like this. I think the public servants must do this every day. <laughs> they have been employed to do this. They are servants. They are called public servants. They are civil servants. And do they do this? And there is a there is a problem. That name has gone, madam. There is no civil servant now. All are babus. No, 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 no that is okay. But technically, they are public servants, and they have to serve. That that is the definition. And and I think there is just no. And there somewhere, all of us are responsible. Let us not say it is a babu. Somewhere we are all responsible. We have to somewhere I think take off time to do to transcend and to do something in the neighborhood. That is why I said ordinary, simple actions in the neighborhood is so, so important. Like the drainage, what he said. We have to be participating in these issues as citizens rather than 
abdicating these responsibilities, but we would not have to do it once the system is in place. We, since we have to correct the system, we have to take up the responsibility of rectifying it. I think these are the issues that had uh, come up. Yeah. What is your view on uh, filing a suit on the government and government compensating for this and making the responsibility because accountability mm -hmm. cannot come without that. Where where I is agree, and I, I think it's it's necessary, and that is the procedure that is usually adopted also. But I think there has to be an accountability, and here I would say of all, but primarily of those who are in the top. One last question. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think we, if we have some, uh, I mean, some educational basis for our politicians? <laughs> a lot of difference it can bring. Certainly not. I, 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 I think it was the wisdom of our country that gave universal suffrage and equal vote and equal rights to all and therefore we have survived. Uh, and if there is a wisdom, please let me tell you that if there has been any way in which governments are changing, Mrs. Gandhi has gone, Vajpayee has gone, other leaders have gone. That's because of the illiterate population who in their wisdom have voted in a correct sense on what to do and what not to do. And even them, it, it's, it, I, I certainly agree that education will give them the empower, will, they will be empowered, the world will be empowered to be wiser if they were educated. But not that way. The politicians. Politicians. So I, I, I let, what do you mean by education? Formal <laughs> education? Degrees? Why not? Some basic some, degree. Some basic some education. All of us, I, I, I can give you examples of some of our brilliant leaders in the uh, country who did not even have a formal education. I know one person whom I see him every other day, Mr. Venkat Swami. If you sit with him, you will know that he has more knowledge than we have ever had on uh, the way country works, to, on, on labor issues, on employment, on pension, on provident fund. So, and he he's just, I don't think he even went to school. He went to six class. He went to class six. And some of our biggest crooks have been the educated. And, and, and <laughs> yes, so I, I think uh, it's, 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 it, uh, being a good person, need not necessarily be a qualified person in the <laughs> formal sense of the term. I'll take the last question if Please. you don't. You have, uh, you have uh, suggested that uh, citizen participation will help build up uh, political parties and correct institutions within the political parties. How does one go about expecting correction in the institution of the executive itself? I think it is not in giving them up on them at a broad level and in not being cynical, uh, but in engaging with them in a very systematic fashion with all data and figures where they will not be able to counter you. It, it cannot be just like a pyramid again. One has to go with proper documentation, with proper figures, and do it in a systematic fashion, I don't see why they, they will have to listen. We have done it. And if more do it, I think they will get corrected. They, they, it's not that they are always like that. They have to be pushed with proper strategy and figures. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For some of you who do not know, uh, MB Foundation, which uh, uh, Shanta has managed for all these years, has uh, brought about uh, a few lakh school children from labor into uh, the mainstream of education. Uh, phenomenal work uh, for which she was given the Maxesse Award, and uh, recently uh, she was appointed the chairperson of the. National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. Uh, I don't think there has been a movement like MV Foundation uh, in the country uh, since independence, something at the grassroots as large as that. And the kind of contribution that uh, Shanta has made to the country is absolutely phenomenal and remarkable. Thank you so much, Shanta, for coming. Part of which 
just a moment, just a moment. Just a moment. <laughs> Part of uh, uh, this. <laughs> Part of uh, what we all like about Manthan is uh, uh, sitting in this place and 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 uh, and deliberating. Uh, we have not found a place better than this, which offers an ambience more intimate, more natural than uh, than Saptaparni. And I would like to say thanks to Anuradha for for making this possible for us. May I ask you to hand over a memento on behalf of Manthan to Sam. I was telling Anuradha that uh, we will not forego your place till uh, it is not available. The only other place that we have really enjoyed uh, uh, holding our meetings is at Vidyaranya under its lovely beautiful tree. Uh, these are the only two places which are fit for, uh, for meetings like ours. Uh, we have held meetings in Federation and elsewhere but nowhere has it been as enjoyable as here. Thank you very much. Stay back friends, uh, we will spend uh, a very short time uh, running through a five minute presentation of the last uh, 30 odd meetings that we have had and then spending some time listening to you on how you think we should go about it. Right. Just give us two minutes, we will run you through a nice presentation, especially for those who have joined in late at Manta. <laughs> as clearly his speech has given today. <laughs> then we had a terrific beginning by Aditya Mukherjee, uh, immediately followed by the Abida. After he spoke, the next speech was by Professor Rajan Harshe. He spoke on the Kashmir problem. And we have been discussing between me and Ajay for quite some time now that we must revisit this problem. And uh, a lot has happened in Kashmir in the last three years. The, the next one is. Uh, Professor Budhala Mukherjee, uh, we had it in the in Vijayaranya. She spoke on uh, communalism. Uh, it was as uh, it was a very strong speech. Of uh, course, some of it we lost in some poor audio, but it was a very very strong speech and some stance which she took. I still remember that it really stirred up some imagination from her. The next one is uh, Professor Manubai Shah. He spoke to us on. Uh, on investor protection. This is the annual speech now we have in 2006, 7 and 8, 3 years we have had these speeches on the budget. Uh, of course, my name figures every year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next one. Then Dr. Bhargava, he first spoke to us on uh, homeopathy and uh, like what everything Dr. Bhargava does, he debunked uh, uh, homeopathy and a pretty strong statement is that. And uh, like all good scientists, he had terrific arguments and reasons. Jay Prakash Narayan spoke to us first time. He spoke to us on uh, reservation policy. And uh, it was a very well thought out speech that day. And uh, this is the first speech we had outside Saptapani. We had it in, I mean, out of we had it in the Hapsi Chamber. And I still remember that we had a lot of new audience who came up and asked a few questions there. Uh, then Kanaviran, you know, he's a champion of human rights. We had him speaking to us on axialism. Uh, yeah, next one. This was a big hit. Uh, Dr. David, I wish she was here today. Uh, it was a very big hit because she really took a very tough stand on the falling ethics in the medical profession and how we can still be ethical and still be a good professional. Uh, actually, that this speech was a rare occasion when we had two people speaking on that day. Sanjay Muta, who, who though is a chartered accountant, investigated certain unethical practices in the medical profession. He spoke first and Evita spoke a little later. And that day was a very engaging debate we had on what was happening in the medical profession. Ravi spoke to us on domestic violence. Uh, and this was a very interesting speech. Dr. Thomas came and he spoke on what Europe can learn from India. He's a neurologist. and. Uh, he spoke in a very refreshing uh, insight into in what's happening in uh, India from the Western world, Western eye. This, of course, she's an authority, Rashna Gandhi. 
and she spoke on the psychology of love and Bollywood. This is a very interesting speech actually because this is one of the things which uh, when we had the topic, we were, me and Ajay were worried, uh, how would the audience reaction be? What would they discuss? And where do we go? I must say that in the many, many debates we have had in Mantan, this debate on this topic surprised us the most because it is a very informed debate and uh, people came up with very valid questions and uh, I mean, it surprised me and Ajay a lot. Then we had the 2007 budget. Again, I figure. I hope you notice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gita was one of them. Gita was one of them. <laughs> this was a big hit at the Sikandarabad club. Uh, he had a poetry recital and then a very interactive talk and Javed Akhtar was an instant hit with the crowd and uh, he, that was a great morning. I'm sure all of us remember that. Narendra Luther has done so much work on Hyderabad and uh, we thought that he'll make a terrific addition to uh, the series of speeches in Mantan and he spoke to about how Hyderabad was in the past and involved in the future. We had a lovely preview screening of Apna Asman and the producer and director he gave a speech. This is one of the, uh, you know, he is a great libertarian in India, Baran Mitra, and he gave a lot of insight. And this is, I think this speech is good for one reason, that it cluttered up uh, some notions we had on the nuclear debate. He came up with a lot of facts. And I think that in matters such as this, this is what Mantan was aiming to achieve. That we all say that, no, we are anti-US, we are pro-Russia, we are anti-China, but we don't know the facts. He came up with the facts and said that because it is for these reasons, this is why I am taking a stand like this. And that cluttered up a lot of, uh, I would say, a lot of confusion in the mind. And therefore, to that, it is a great debate that day. We invited uh, Bhargava back on God and man's creation. And of course, he was as acidic as ever on that day. And we had a terrific debate, I remember that. Then. Uh, this is Ajay's favorite, I must put it on record. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Ayn Rand, we had a, a screening of the Ayn Rand Sense of Life, it was on the 50th anniversary celebrations and uh, we had a lovely attendance that day, a lot of people uh, liking the film of Ayn Rand on Atlas Shrek. This is a very interesting thing because Justice Raghuram came to us and spoke to us, he's a sitting judge and he spoke to us on judicial activism. And he also criticized judiciary for taking some stands. Very few judges do that in, in, a, in public. And he said that this is what judges must do, this is what I think they are doing, and uh, sometimes we are wrong. And I think that somehow I think that the platform Mantan has provided makes it possible for this open debate and for him to take, for people, even a judge to take a stand here. Professor Tilotin Shastri, uh, he gave a brilliant speech. He's a practicing democratic watcher, democracy watcher. He gave a brilliant speech on uh, on the election watching he was done. He has done in Gujarat and uh, Mantan itself we may be part of this process. Later you'll see some announcements on this. Bakshi came and he spoke to us on Go Kiss the World. He's a co-founder of Mind Tree Consulting. We had this, uh, uh, we had this speech in uh, Fabsi and uh, as all of more, you know he's a brilliant speaker and he made a lovely presentation partly on the book and partly on um, HR uh, issues and how to develop teams and people. I would rate amongst many many speeches I've heard uh, one or two speeches which I think are are really high I and mean, if you want me to rank them and I would say the top three or top two I would rate, I would rate this one for the simple reason that uh, Dastur had given a very high attention to detail and he spoke on the subject with such authority. I, it was for me a, 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 almost a spiritual experience. He spoke with authority, he knew what he was saying, he stuck to the time, he had to catch a plane. But even otherwise, like all good Bombay professionals, uh, it, it was uh, amazing that you know the, the breadth of what he covered in the limited time he had. And I think that uh, that day was a, was a great day for Mantra. This is our own Mani Shankar in Hyderabad and uh, he created a lot of fun and uh, we, we got some insights into filmmaking and the compromises filmmakers make. The topic also was chosen by him on the title. Nothing by us. Nothing by us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> We 
we got back uh, Jay Prakash Narayan on uh, he suggested this topic of first world economics, third world politics, but largely actually he spoke on uh, uh, what he was trying to do in the political arena and why middle class and other or people like us should go join the mainstream politics. Last month we had uh, Malika Sarabhai speaking and uh, I'm sure most of you were there that evening and she really gave one of the finest speeches we have heard and especially on why we need to be the change. You know, it's almost like listening to Hitler. I don't know how many of you have heard him. Uh, uh, you know, he gives one of this, uh, you, you, it's there uh, available on the net. You, you don't need to know German. You can download it and just listen to it. And at the end of the speech, you feel like doing something. It is power, sheer power. And I think that is what we heard when Malika said about speech. But she was just to speak, sir, I know that. Of course, all this was possible and uh, we could have had today's speech on this photograph and retrospective. Uh, but I must tell you that again, the top three speeches, if it is there, Shanta's speech will also be there, not just because it's my sister. But the fact is that, you know, uh, I like people, I mean, I think that uh, someone who stirs up our imagination and makes us think afresh on many of the issues which we always discuss in our daily life, I think will be a great speech. So, in parallel, all of us are members of Manthan. We have continuous debates on the web. I must thank Naru Reddy, Bapu Rao, Kali Sudhiranan, and of course, Ajay. There are some active contributors. R.K. Tanwada. Ah, He's not here today. He's not here. Probably not in the country. Okay. Uh, there are some. So I, I invite all of you to participate in, in this debate, to raise the issues. Now we are about 750 members. There are 750 members watching. And some of us have some very valid opinions. Some of us don't. But I don't think people protesting much on that. <laughs> but I think that it is time that all of us participate in this debate. Manthanindia.com is where we should be. And let us all build this Manthan into a great movement in the years to come. But we have not yet finished the evening. Oh yeah, the first six months. The only thoughts we had was, will we get 50 people? And we were counting. We used to make calls and get people here. Yeah. And you know, you put in not only your own effort, but even I know that you put in your own money and get this thing going. So money is not uh, big and money has not been uh, a very big contribution. But at the same time, so all that is appreciated. And what, uh, one of these suggestions is, why don't you take up a contribution that could assist you and help you in we are looking forward to contribution from you. Yeah. 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 Uh, the only contribution that's probably not yet required is money. <laughs> but are you guys willing to help elsewhere? Right? Uh, le let me tell you something about money. Uh, it's not big money we spend. We have very, very consciously built up a low cost model. Right? Uh, Anuradha has been extremely nice. We pay her a pittance for the use of this place. Right? We, we provide you with some tea and snacks, which is hardly very expensive. Right? We make sure we give you only paper plates. We don't pay the speakers. No speaker is ever paid. One speaker asks for payment and we decline to invite her. Right? So we don't spend too much money. I mean, I'm being very frank with you. But that has been a very conscious decision. We have kept it into a low cost model very consciously and I'll come to that as to why we did it. So let's not talk money. I mean, we'll figure out ways of meeting that expense. But there is big help that you can give. Spell, spell it out. Right? One thing that I asked for last time is we have very few youngsters here. We have Avni coming in. We have Tanvi coming in. We have Radha coming in. Parth coming in. These are our children who come in here. Why is it that you people who find Manthan valuable don't get your children here to Manthan? Don't you think it's something that they would enjoy doing it? Don't you think it's something that is worth their while? I was saying uh, this to the uh, to someone the other day that us one session with Malika Sarabhai which a child would uh, have uh, heard would have impacted her more than a few months of schooling. Right? And why is it that we don't make the effort of getting a child to a month? I'm, I'm much happier with 
younger children coming in here than um, there are all of you coming in actually. <laughs> Right, and why, 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 why is it that you never thought it was worth your while getting younger people to this, to this group? Why don't you put in that effort? Get one, one child each. Yes. <laughs> we'll make sure he heads mantan someday. <laughs> yes. Uh, why, why don't you? Respond to that, Parvez. No, actually, you know, today we was going to bring our daughter, and as a matter of fact, for one of one or two of the sessions, we did bring her. Yeah. And, uh, and today was today. She had some friends over. She finished her exam. So, but you got a point. It really would be very helpful for a child. Uh, I think it's great education. Yeah. A child would not get this exposure anywhere else. Absolutely. That's so why why don't we get our children here? Much better than the Indian box at home. Absolutely. <laughs> no, and I don't underrate them. Give them this exposure, they'll come on their own. Absolutely. They don't need to be pulled. Absolutely. I don't have to tell Parth to come. Avni makes sure that she pulls her mother along every time. She doesn't allow her mother to stay at home. I mean, on her own entirely. Why don't we do that? Yeah, Gita, you said it. Gita. I just want to see these colleges, universities, yeah, actually, that is one, one of the questions we, have, we wanted to ask you. Uh, one is that how do we expand this and saying that, we, okay, well, let us do a month and inside a college or inside a university hall or something. That's one thing. The other is that uh, we actually have a separate month and there. And they do their own month. Because there are, this, what, what are we doing here? Here we are networking with speakers and we have some access. And that's another question which we have. But that access, I'm sure, if you can provide to that college atmosphere, they can have their own mantra and people can ask questions. And I think that that model can be improved upon. We can have a mantra in the Infosys campus, one one in Google campus, because that's where most of the youth are in any case. So, uh, sorry? Yeah, no, no, Gita, we are discussing two different issues here. One is, everyone wants to help. Over 25 people have come to me in the last two years and said, look, we would like to share your expense, right? Now, that has been the smallest of our problems. Money has been the smallest of our problems. We don't really need help and when we need, we'll come to you. I mean, obviously, there's no shame in that. The help we need is to make sure that we get attendance here. In the early days, that was an issue. The second thing is, I find it troubling that none of us have really bothered to bring our, the youth from our families to something like this, which is obviously so valuable. Why? why? They should come on their own. No, no, no. I mean, uh, his, his, his child wouldn't know that there is something like this. <laughs> Correct. No, I think that once or twice you have to make the effort to get them here and then it will catch up. I have no doubt about it. Then, we, then the quality has to speak for itself. But if we don't make the effort, they won't come. I mean, because they have other avocations and businesses to do. The other question, the other, other issue which we want to discuss here is this, that are you happy with this kind of people coming and talking to us? Are you happy with the format which we are doing? Do you want a different kind of format? Or, uh, you know, how, how do we network? How do we expand the kind of people we are getting? I mean, and the kind of issues which we are discussing. Even this, if you could someone to tell us and help us in this. It's, because every month it is a tension for both of us to think who is next. I think that that issue, we want to put it out to the audience because we, I see so many honest I mean, so many die-hard mantra here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could tell us, you must be having hard, yeah. After listening to Mallika Sarabha, I'd like to listen to Narendra Modi. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I should have, <laughs> we should have <laughs> the other <laughs> counterpoint. <laughs> we should, we have, should have, and I don't know if we'll achieve or, not, what, or Narendra Modi, but we should have a counterpoint. There's no doubt about it. So that is what uh, in mean. fact, while the lecture was on, I was just telling Ajay that when Shanta was talking about bureaucracy, I think we should have an IS officer coming and talk to us. And he must be telling us that what splendid work he's doing. And what the government is doing, and then we, that's what strengthens the mantra. So the, we must have another motive here. If you have connections, can we use it? Seriously, I've got his email right now. Can we can we close one issue by another? Yeah. Uh, can can I have your can I have your commitment that you will spread the mantra word amongst the youth 
in your families and friends and get them here. Right? Please, it's it's important. It's important for us that the youth is engaged. It's very important for us that the youth is engaged. And I I'm not worried if they come twice. It's enough. We don't have to get them more than that. We don't have to push them. And I'll guarantee that they'll come on their own. And also from the from the time we get the mail, at least every day we forward one mail. I think we should please, still get. Please, please, please do that. That's far greater help than anything else that you can do. Get, get, get some more people here. Get, get people engaged. Five people to come today, but I just to work. That's fine. Make an effort. Make an effort. Give it time. I have a small mail sent to all the seventy members with a small form that sent five email IDs of the friends. They just type the I mail. Mean, I mean, at least we get thirty percent of followers. Seven fifty. Actually, yes, actually, this seven fifty have come by this process exactly. itself. So just send a form in that again and get the email. ID. Can you also send what you presented? Because that, that becomes a basis for. Sure, I'll do that. What is the quality of yeah, the people who are coming? I'll do that. I'll send you a PDF file of this. You could actually uh, put the, the website. Website. on the website. So people who have missed also can actually know. Uh, I'll come back to this. My problem is I don't have someone who will do that work. That's my problem. Please. That is on the agenda to ask for help. Okay. I, we need people A who will do research on a topic that will happen, two who will summarize and help us, give us a gist so that we could put it up. Today I was so happy when I saw Shanta's speech, I already told Vikram, give me that speech uh, and I am going to put it up on the website. I mean that discussion happened when we were talking, uh, when she was talking. But we don't have people to do that. Right? Yes. Why don't we ask? Uh, why don't we ask a very young lady where, whether you found this above your head? Do, did you find them engaging? Yeah. She has been a very regular, committed month night. How about you, son? Oh, please, you underestimate the youth. They're not stupid. No, they are not. Yeah, trust yes, me. Yes, Today's was probably a little scholarly, uh, but most are not. I mean, today's was very good. But perhaps maybe a ninth class or a tenth class student may have found it a little uh, because she was talking out of her experiences in the field. You know that was the backdrop of her talk. But uh, all all talks here have been extremely uh, engaging to you. Not an issue. I will share with you all this. She comes back and discusses the issue what she has not understood. She is making a learning for that. That's something very interesting. And more for us also. Then he also. Uh, yes, it comes as a recollect, but she does the exercise of you know asking questions. This is something which is a good habit. Right. Uh, I'll take on where uh, Vikram left uh, earlier about Manthan. One of the dreams that we have is to spread Manthan. Okay. What Vikram said is very right. Why can't we have a school? or a college run a month and activity in in that college right once a month an outside speaker is invited who talks and carries on a meeting in this format right they all have assemblies what we need is a month and independent of this which is carried on there Gita franchise it the business model that we have created here yeah. is an extremely low cost replicable model Absolutely. that was the whole objective to create a re low cost replicable model which can be used anywhere else we are willing to provide logistic support we are willing to provide speakers we are pro willing to provide uh, all the help required if we find owners to such activities in independent locations Problem would be getting diluted. No, you why? Know, the attendance here. Oh, that's not an issue at all. Today, as Vikram said, Infosys campus has 5,000 young tech, uh, IT professionals working there. Right? Point of Can't they have a small manthan carried on in their campus? Comfortable. 
completely possible. It will have no, and I'm not worried about the impact here. That's not an issue at all. What we want is that thoughts and ideas are debated all over the place. It becomes a way of life. That's the whole objective behind it, not just to conduct meetings. That's what Shanta was saying, basically. Yes. So why don't why why don't we create? Uh, why don't some of you take up initiative and ownership of an activity like this in your community, in a college, somewhere else? No, no hands there. We'll do it. Please. Yeah. We can take it up in corporates also. Right? Yes. Yeah. Great. In a company which has two thousand people. So we'll Start help you out with the first ten meetings. The first corporate signature. Great. Super. <laughs> yes, lady. Uh, we are architecture college, so I'm sure we can put this forward there. You know the way to do it. Call one of your principals or whoever uh, decides. For the next meeting. Give them. Give me. Give me their uh, uh, contact. contact details. I'll send an invite. Call that lady or the gentleman to a meeting. Let them experience the meeting. And then we'll sell the idea to them. Great. And if you don't need their concurrence, then by all means start something on your own. We'll help you out. Great. Your name? Uh, here. But I think this could be done. Trust me, it's not difficult. We don't face great difficulties in conducting these meetings. It's a fairly easy, straightforward low cost model right cost is not a consideration if you are incurring a cost we'll make sure some member uh, takes care of that there are many who have offered to help cost is not an issue speakers is not an issue ownership is the issue please own an activity i think even if you target maybe three or four months edition every month yeah actually one of the suggestions i have is that if you could showcase people who actually work like what uh, uh, Mrs. Shanta was also mentioning, I think that would be something good for Mantanites to share with. It's easy to object, criticize, but if you take examples, like I have an example in my company, where there's a gentleman who went ahead, found a village which had a fluorosis problem. He moved the government, he raised money personally to set up a water softening plant. An investment of hardly two and a half lakhs or so. He implemented the entire project, handed it over to the ladies of that village to run the project. They sell the water at 10 paisa a litre to the village, neighbouring villages. Best of all, when the villagers come to the city, they bring their bottled water to Hyderabad. Perfect. Now, this is an example where somebody, not just advice, but went out and did something about it. If you can showcase people who have done things like this at a citizen level, I think it can inspire a few more people to go out and do it. Okay. It's easy to say I didn't get my voter card. I mean, if my bank account was frozen somewhere, I would move hell and earth to get my bank account opened up. If I can apply the same thing to my voter card, if I want to vote, I can go out and vote. If you can showcase successes like you continue to do, probably Malika and several of your speakers are very successful implementers of what Mantan is all about. If you showcase a few success stories, you take some case studies, Baba Amte or whatever, you know, people like that, probably makes sense. That's a very good idea. Sikramdar. I'll, I'll get my press club people. In the next meet, I'll get two or three, my president, secretary, and all of them. Let me see. So this is one of our uh, issues which we discussed is that for what? some reason we have not graduated out of page three. So we'll do that. Uh, uh, we want to get out of that rut because the only mention we get, we seem to be getting in the press is, uh, uh, I mean, you know, page and three. And we'll that's not what uh, that's not what what we are never making it. Uh, I, I'm sure there's a lot of competition for that space in Hindu or in... You know, we are so not in competition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't want to compete. No, no. we'll go a, for Sunday chronic. Sunday, Sunday, yeah, right Wherever up. it is. So if that, if you could use your network to get somebody there and uh, to see this and then report saying that, after all, we have got very eminent people speaking and taking a stand on issues. 
and people can know that this is the stand they are taking on these issues. So we want to use your network and if you could volunteer and say that I know this guy in the Hindu, I know this guy in the... I will be in charge of that. Thank you. And Thank not you. page 3. We will provide separate competition to Pinky Reddy, but we will discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about what's happening on the web, on the website? I mean, on the web debate. I mean, uh, anyone can comment on that. Because we, like I told you, we have about six or seven contributors, and and Bob Bapura, of course, is constant all the time. The contrarian contributor. Contrarian contributor. But then, uh, do we need that at all? Anup, do you read them at all? To be very honest, in the, in the, in the early days I did, uh, <laughs> afraid I haven't been doing that because I see a lot of lot it coming in, yeah, uh, a lot of stuff that's being said. I think there's a lot of things that's important, but sometimes it just clogs the inbox and it's just easier to skim over it. So that's an honest opinion. I'd, ra I'd much rather enjoy this session. Bashir? By all means, it should continue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those who wish to read, read. How much ever you want of that conversation. I, incidentally, we should announce that uh, we have at least two, gen three gentlemen of the new. <laughs> uh, what we have done is uh, we have uh, asked a few friends to join us for uh, on an advisory board uh, to strengthen some of our activities. We took this these last three years to consolidate to make sure that this is a model that can work. This is a thing that can work. Now we are confident it can work. So we've asked a few gentlemen to come and uh, help us out. Kamlesh is one of them. Bashir, Ram Mohan, three are here. Then we've asked Ravi, uh, uh, advocate, who was one of our speakers. Manik Daruwala, who is not here. And uh, uh, Suhim Sheikh, who's promised to come and who's not come. These uh, six uh, people will uh, form the advisory board to help us out. Uh, Bashir is one of them and uh, so are the other two who are here. Uh, we hope to strengthen this activity in many ways with the help of uh, this uh, additional few hands and eyes and ears uh, that, that, that we have borrowed. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Yeah. We have talked about um, schools and corporates um, engaging in would you consider political parties? This is pure strategy. Whenever dis someone discusses political parties, Ajay transfers the mic to me. Uh, see, I think it's not a bad idea, frankly. Uh, no, we, uh, you should also know that he's from Babu's party, uh, so you have a resource in him. Okay. <laughs> No, I, it, it's not a bad idea. Uh, I think that, but then the, the point is that we would like it to be as, uh, I would say impartial, but as wide as possible and to include, to be including all parties. So I would rather have the representatives of all parties come here and discuss this issue rather than my putting up a monthly show in Telugu Desam or in the Congress. First, the second thing is, I don't know whether you've noticed is what also Shanta also said. There is no such thing as a party. Everyone is having one. But say there's no such thing as a party. There is no except during elections, there's nothing much happening within those institutions. So it would be very difficult for us to have a platform there. And that I think is a formidable, you know, a wall we'll have to I don't know how to do that. Uh, maybe when those parties are mature enough, we can do something like that within their precincts. But I think it's it will take a while to do that. CPM also is a very, very well organized part as even if funding is concerned. Uh, so the, I agree with that, but I don't know. Well, 
in any other place, like say like Congress or BJP or Telugu Desam, we can do that. You're right, you're absolutely right. We should try that. And we are talking about strengthening the institutions, unless we sort of try to inculcate an, an idea of political parties being non-partisan. Uh, I think it's, it's going to be really difficult to strengthen the institutions. I think it's a very fundamental question we are talking about. Uh, uh, that. What we are trying to say, and this is exactly what Bhopar also said a little while earlier, is that there is a view and there is a counter view and we would like to have the counter view here. And maybe we can provide a platform where both view and counter view can happen at the same time and you don't have to express counter view by throwing a stone at a glass piece. You know, uh, uh, just because you don't like someone, that's what happened yesterday and the day before. Now, we hope that we will we'll be able to provide a platform and you know, and I think that this is not a bad training ground for someone to have an opposing view. Uh, but it will take time, that's all I will say. On the uh, uh, debate on the web, on the debate on the web, uh, I believe that it's remarkable that we have had a continuing debate for three years. I have been parts of group earlier and I know how they all peter down and stop happening. Fortunately, that has not happened. Unfortunately, the debates have not picked up the kind of substance and strength that they ought to have uh, in, in, in these three years. And I think we all need to take the blame for that. I, I really ask you to engage yourself in these debates. Uh, it's a nice way to, to share your opinions, to, to formulate thoughts and, and debate, something which you may not have an opportunity to do except when you meet here and that could be also on a given topic which the speaker or one of us has selected. Right? Well, you have an opportunity of actually engaging yourself in debates and it's a, it's a very nice group, very nice platform. So my request to you is please, please participate. I mean, it's, it's worth your while participating. Yes, Gita? Getting speakers, are you having any problems? Oh, big, big problems. So I think all of us could contribute. We were about to come to that, yes. We are having a constant challenge of getting top class people to you. Okay? It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a constant battle. Uh, you, you don't know how difficult it is. And uh, we don't pay people. We don't ask them to come for us. We get hold of them when they are in Hyderabad. And we get hold of uh, local speakers as well. So we need both. I mean, we need all of you to network, to keep your eyes open, ears open, tell us someone who is first class, no compromises on quality, who can come as substance, can uh, is articulate, can speak for 45 minutes to one hour, can hold an audience after that, and is objective, right? Uh, please tell us. I mean, we, we need your help in getting speakers. Very, very important. There is only so much that two of us can do. One of the re reasons we recruited these six gentlemen was that we will be able to reach out to a wider audience. Is being objective an important requirement? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. And here, the speaker also should survive my one-liners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but then the point is that you need not be part of the managing uh, group or whatever it is. In fact, you need not. You need not be at all. You, you can just write on the web saying that you heard so and so and, or you have a connection to so and so and he is coming to Hyderabad maybe a month, two months, three months later. Why didn't you start talking to him? Or he or she can be Hyderabad. Or he can be Hyderabad. Please, there are many jewels here we have not tapped. So, uh, when you are talking about the web, sorry to take you back to the on the Yahoo group, have you been a member? We have a Yahoo group running for the last three years. Okay. That's the debate we are talking about, not the invites you receive. Okay, not, no, but even I keep getting emails also. Those emails are outside the group. Okay, all right. We keep the members list outside. So then this, on this I'm not. Yeah, I'll send you a link. Just go to manthanindia.com and you'll see the Yahoo group there. Okay. I mean, it's better than a blog. You have emails coming into your, onto your mailbox every day. Okay, great. Speaker.
speakers, friends. We need speakers. Please. Unala assist. Yes. Yeah. You try helping and that's what happened to your hand. No, this is different case. <laughs> About what she said, uh, children have uh, intellectual inertia. We don't want to think. It's we just want to have fun, and we thinking is a burden, which is why we don't study, which is why we don't come here. Every five meetings or so, I'll just sit at home. No, I have homework. I'm not going to come today. Next meeting, my dad will tell me, "Do your homework in the afternoon. You're coming in the evening." I end up coming. The inertia of that meeting, the whole. The high continues for the next five meetings. And then once again, I'm like, oh, I don't want to go today. I just want to sleep at home. So you will have to force children to come the first two, three times, to come every tenth time. Yeah. It is only then that they will come. They will not come on their own. We're too focused on fun. <laughs> you will have to force it. That is how they will come. When you have parents who are always forcing children, you will find inertia on that side of <laughs> And they all might run to Shanta on child rights. <laughs> Thank you. What else? Any other way you think we could uh, we could improve upon what we are doing? run a small camp which teaches how to use the RTI. Uh, RTI has been accomplished on my agenda. Last week I reached out to Arvind Kejriwal, the Maxis Award winner who drove RTI into, uh, into the country along with Aruna Roy and all. And uh, most likely Arvind Kejriwal may agree to do it. Uh, may agree to come uh, to our meet, one of the meetings when he is here. But uh, Madan Vyas, one of our friends has offered uh, the local RPI commissioner to be brought here. I am just trying to figure out whether he qualifies from his articulation abilities to come here or not. I mean, he's an important man, but I'm just trying to figure out whether he's good or not. So I'll recheck on them. Yeah, Dilip Reddy, he is. No, he's not talking of Dilip Reddy. He's talking of uh, Arara. 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 Is he? Is he? Is, can he, can he can he can he speak well and come here and talk? We'll know know whether information commissioner can share information or not. <laughs> Let us call him. He's a good speaker. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we need well. that prior knowledge. <laughs> no, we need that prior knowledge. We really don't want to call someone where the meeting is planned. Yeah, please do that. Yeah. Great. Okay. But RTI is high on our agenda, on our minds at least. I wasn't just talking of a talk on it. I, I was know. talking of a proper camp where they teach you how to use it, a thorough camp. That's what all of us need here. I will subscribe to that, yes. Yeah, we'll we never thought about it. it. We never thought about it, but yes, I think I will subscribe to that. It's it's far too important a development in the country and we have kept our subscribed to it. Okay. Uh, one more uh, uh, announcement. Uh, most of you were here when Trilochan Shastri talked uh, about the electoral reforms and the kind of work that he has done. Then uh, he wrote to both of us and said that uh, we are having an election watch, a group which does uh, election watch across the country and we don't have an election watch activity in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, why don't Mantan take it up, network with other NGOs and set up an election watch group which disseminates information about uh, candidates with criminal backgrounds uh, in the electoral politics that will happen. Nothing else, pick up data from their own affidavits and disseminate that information in a properly classified organized way. Uh, both of us thought about it for a while and then said yes, uh, it's something that uh, could be a next step in doing uh, in, in doing what we have wanted to do. So you will probably see something coming in on that side uh, as well and uh, we might ask some of you to help us out on that. Yeah, Correct. 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 We'll probably do it for this election, coming on, coming election. Right? So, just a matter of announcement, and we'll keep you informed on that. All speakers are being videographed. All, yeah. 
all 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 speakers are being videographed ram has uh, put them on video right from day one uh, i thought malika's speech was so good that there would be a lot of demand for that so i sent a mail on the yahoo group saying that uh, i have malika's speech video on video anyone wants i'll give it at a cost of two blank dvds i just got two requests I made one for Malika. <laughs> I just got two requests, and now I have got a few more. Uh, you are not on Yahoo group. I intentionally didn't send it on the other group. Join the Yahoo group, please. Go to manthanindia.com. You will see a link. Go and join. Would you? Would you think it would be a very nice option to put it on the website as as a library? Ah, Mal Malika Sarabhai's video is on two DVDs. That's that's almost six GB. Bandwidth needed would be six GB of uh, film. Um, I really can't put it up on YouTube or anything like that, right? But I need help. If someone can convert it into small files, can cut, edit, make snippets out of it, which can be put up. Malika, you know, for example, she talked of how she lit the fire of her uh, pyre of her uh, uh, father's dead body, right? A small snippet. Could someone edit it, put it up on YouTube? That would be wonderful. I'll try and help you. In Great. The, uh, you could even take out the soundtrack, put it up as MP3 files, and make them available. Yeah. They are all good ideas. We need people who will help us out with that. If anyone volunteers, <coughs> great. Nothing like that. Then a few more speakers on one CD. I'll. But the work has to be done. The work has to be done. Both of us don't have the time to do it. Right, I mean, but everything is available. Yeah. Everything is available. Someone has to do it. Yeah, but Papa, can can you find out someone who will help us out? I can put them on the website as downloadable links. Such large, uh, such large files. Be possible if, if, if people are doing huge files on iPods. I mean, it is possible. <laughs> it is possible. I will not say no. Size reduce huge. It's possible. Why don't we request uh, Anuradha? to make uh, CDs and uh, sell it for a nominal cost. Uh, I am willing to give it the ad cost, no nominal she, cost. She has a company which is doing that for children's uh, songs okay. and all that. No, but so then it should be professionally produced. Yeah, yeah. They have it. Ours are just captured. They, they have all that facility. She, or she has a tie-up with somebody. So we can ask we have, Saptaparani okay. itself. We have a bare bones website, for example. Suppose we have a sponsor from within mm. for the cost of these discs. Why not make it available every meeting? The library to, to make it easier. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to buy it. You know? Yeah. Can be done. Straight away. 200 bucks. I don't think that's an issue, Bashir. You just get 10, 10 DVD sets here. People will pay 50 rupees and pick it up. I don't think I really want to make uh, uh, money an issue here. And and and. Just in case, make it let them pay 50 rupees and take it. Anyway, we'll discuss it when we get together. Yeah. Give you two MP series for one, one actually full series. We'll figure out a way of doing it. Yeah. That's that's what I was able to create. What you see here. Yes, perfect. It is beautiful. I, I think this is a good one. Honestly, I think it's a good one. This says it all. It says it all. It's a we added a we added a line on top, right? Your space for thoughts and ideas. Hello. We need more non-political meetings. We need more non-political meetings. No, but what what are political meetings? No, as in in the sense. <laughs> they are all something to do with government and suggest that you need something other than that. You need a variety. You, 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 you need uh, a Sudhakar Krishnamurti or a Mani Shankar or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sri Ram, so, no. Somebody said instead of Sarabhai, we want Sharavat. <laughs> sure, and I also want to uh, I want a DVD in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I give you the number of MP you want. Yeah. We'll have her on traditional Indian costumes. <laughs> Pre independence, right? <laughs> yes, come here. Uh, <laughs> 
Actually, I have uh, got the uh, URL of your Rao, uh, the email ID of your Rao, and I am going to write to him. Uh, Chandra Chakravati shared a few <coughs> of these uh, uh, contacts with me, and your Rao is has an um, uh, a plan of even creating an escalator to the moon. So the the idea is to get her if we get him if we can. Let's see. Get an escalator to here. <laughs> right, uh, friends. Uh, before we close, I thought uh, it's uh, time to acknowledge a, a few things. Ram has been doing a wonderful job of both photographing and videographing right from day one. It is also a big fan. Every single meeting has been photographed by Ram. One that suggestion on the CDs that are created, maybe that should also be put in. Uh, some, some photographs created by Ram. Dayakar and his team, I mean, where is Dayakar? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> everything that you see here in the, uh, in the meeting, every bit of organization, right from setting up of the screen to this poster to this table to the snacks, the Amen. tea, everything is done by Dayakar and a group of uh, people working with him. Oh, thanks a lot, Jack. That was great work, man. Very good work. <laughs> Next meeting. Uh, oh, uh, none of us have really to bother. I mean, both Vikram and I don't know what's going to happen. It all happens by clockwork. Absolutely, uh, uh, no, no interference or even question from our side. Very good work, man. And. Uh, uh, once again, thanks to Anuradha for this place. Uh, we'll keep coming here, right, till at least the it's next rains. Uh, <laughs> thanks, uh, everybody. Please keep coming. Bring in more people and make sure this works. Thank you very much. One minute, one minute. Hey, uh, friends. Uh, uh, I forgot, I forgot. Ramo here is...